annuities. What is an annuity? An annuity is a sequence of equal periodic payments. In other words, we're putting money into account every so often. It could be yearly, monthly, weekly, uh, semi-annually, anything we want. When the payments are made at the same time that the interest is credited, the annuity is termed ordinary, and we're only going to concern ourselves with an ordinary annuity. One example of an ordinary annuity is paying premiums into a life insurance policy. So if we have a 20 payment life insurance policy, we put in 20 equal payments or premiums. The two formulas we're going to use is PMT, that's the amount of the periodic payment, and FE, which is the future value, and the future value is the, so, the, tum, the total of all payments made plus all the interest that is accumulated. Now let's take a look at an example. We want to find the future value of an annuity after five years when we make periodic payments of $100 semi-annually based on a 10% interest rate compounded semi-annually. And notice since the payments and the interest are made at exactly the same time, this would be an ordinary annuity. Now we put in exactly $100 at a 10% interest rate compounded semi-annually for five years. Therefore, M is equal to 2 since it's compounded semi-annually. The periodic interest rate is equal to the interest rate, which is 10%, the R, divided by M, which is 2, and that gives us 5 hundredths. The N is equal to the M, that's the 2, times the t, which is 5, and that is the number of years. And therefore, what we want to do before we use the formula, we want to be able to see what the table tells us. Well, we know that we're making periodic payments of $100. We want that to be a fixed cell, so we can copy that all the way down for the 10 payments. The interest earned during the after the first payment is zero, which means that we are going to have the hundred dollars left in our account. Now, the very first time we're earning interest, we're going to take the amount in the account, which is the hundred dollars, times the periodic interest rate. And since we want to be able to copy this formula, we want the interest rate to be a fixed cell. And therefore, we're earning $5 after the first interest is given. Now, what is the amount we're going to have after we make the second payment? Well, we have the previous amount in the account, the $100, plus the $100 that we're adding to the account, plus the accumulated interest. So that means we now have $205 in the account. Now, let's see how much interest we're going to earn the next time. We are going to go ahead and we're going to copy this cell. And you notice next time you're earning $10.25 because the interest is based on the $205. Once we have the $205 plus the next $100 payment plus the interest, you know we have $315.25 in the account. Now I'm going to copy these two columns until we make the 10th payment. And you will notice that we have $1,257.79 in the account. Well, let's see how this works with the formula. In order to get the future value, we go to formulas, we go to the financial book, and we go down till we get the future value, FV, and notice we get returns the future value of an investment based on periodic constant payments and a constant interest rate. The first window says rate, and that is our periodic interest rate, or the 0 .05. The N per is the total number of payments. That's our N, which is 10. And payment, we're going to put in as a negative number because the computer knows that money is a liquid asset. It flows in one direction outwards. We put in the amount of the periodic payment, which is $100. And therefore, it calculates for us that the future value is $1,257.79. Well, 
Well, that's a good thing because we don't want to have to create a table all the time to calculate the future value. Now let's look at this for a second. I want to be able to calculate the total number of payments we actually made. So for the total payments, we take the periodic payments of $100 times the total number of payments, which is 10. And that tells us we actually paid in $1,000 to this account. Well, since the total is $1,000, we want to be able to determine what is the amount of interest that we earned. Well, remember, the amount of interest is equal to the future value, which is the $1,257.79, minus the total amount we paid in, which is $1,000. And therefore, over the two years, we earn $257.79 in interest. All right, let's take another problem. Saving for a college education. As a savings pro program towards Alberto's college education, his parents decided to deposit $100 at the end of every month into a bank account, paying 6% interest compounded monthly. If the savings programs began when Alberto was three years old, how much money would he would have accumulated by the time he turns 18? Well, the periodic payment is $100, the interest rate is 6% compounded monthly, and the 15 years is basically equal to the 18 minus the 3, which tells us we're doing this for 15 years. Since the interest is compounded monthly, we're going to put that in as 12 times per year. The I is equal to the interest rate, which is 6%, divided by the number of payments per year, which is 12. So our periodic interest rate is 5 thousandths, or 5 tenths of 1%. The N is going to be equal to our M, which is 12, times the 15 which tells us the parents made 180 payments into this account. Now we want to go to the future value. We can actually go to the FX. You see financial that way. And you can go down to FV. And again, we see the formulas. The rate is the periodic interest rate, which is the I. The N per is the 180. The periodic payment minus is the $100. And therefore, at the end of the 12 years, Alberto's college education fund will have $29,081.87. As a note, FV is what you, FX is what you compress when you have a MAC. Now we want to calculate the total amount of the payments the parents put in. So we take the $100 times the total number of payments, which is 180. And therefore, they put in $18,000 into this account. So what is the amount of interest earned? The amount of interest would be the $29,081.87 minus the $18,000 that the parents paid in. So over the course of 15 years, the account earned $11,081.87.